So one of the issues was jumping water. So we got it good, we're doing the A to B's, we got him to free jumping, we got him to jumping in Liverpool, we got him eventually, and then he saw the Liverpool with water, and you can see, and then he faced his fears, and it all just positive reinforcement. It's a jump in the middle of the arena. You can go anywhere, Stormy. And he made a choice to come and to, to face his fears when he saw that. But anyway, so then I would come in every other month. So I'd come in, do a clinic, and then leave. So they have exercises when I'm gone. And I came back after our free jumping time. They said, we're glad you're here because we're afraid of him. <laughs> and I said, okay, what's happening? And this is how they're targeting him. Target, target. <laughs> because they're trying to, it was defensive targeting. Because they had, they were all they were clicking for, all they were bridging and reinforcing was energy. So he just got energy, energy, when in the very beginning, because he was a nervous horse, what I worked on, and I knew was solid, was calm. So when he stands beside me with that very beginning position I teach, he just knew, I just settle and relax here. So I could immediately take him back to that settled, relaxed place. So he comes towards it, but they didn't know it enough, you know, they didn't trust it enough. So as he's coming towards him, he's coming with them with lots of energy, and that's really why he's a target. We have too much energy. I want it chasing the target and not me. Yeah, you know, if you're like, whoa. But at least this way, you're like, oh, there he went. <laughs> but so he was coming towards him. It was just, so I said, okay, okay, send him to me. So they sent him back over. He came over. I clicked him for jumping the jump. And then I just stood. And you see, he jumped and he said, oh, okay. And he came around me and stood and faced the jump beside me. And then I clicked to reinforce. So that's all you had to do. I had it so ingrained in there that that was his default behavior and I knew he could go there. So I want to always have that in so he can practice that impulse control. All the energy and fun and excitement that goes with it, but let's be able to bring it back down. So you could click the energy, but then click the settling. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, and that's a good point. Okay, so we're talking about intent a little bit. And we're not always going to know the intent, but it is a plain old fact. They can't be tense and relaxed. They can't be aggressive and relaxed. So if, a, so if relaxed trumps aggression, we can, we can get that. But you know where I first learned it? It's watching. I was just a young, brand new little trainer, and they, we would teach the sea lion butt targets. That means they put their nose on your butt, and as you walked along, if you lifted a leg, they lifted a leg. If you hop, they hop. If you prance, they prance. You backed up. You spun. If you went with this, you know. So they learned all that. Well, the first part was teaching this butt target. And I remember watching this little, with this sea lion was named Killer because he was so chicken. I mean, kind of a, a facetious name. Well, he, he was learning a butt target, so you're having to teach them to keep contact, which in their head can be pushing on you, which may be aggression. Well, he bit it. I mean, he bit his hiney. <laughs> How fun is that? Not very. And so and I was like, maybe we should rethink his name. <laughs> but anyway, but it, I really knew at that moment, I recognized it, his intent. He didn't think he was doing wrong. He thought they like this. And so they're reinforcing this. So I guess I'll do more of this. So it was, so I learned very quickly, you got to try to, as much as you can, recognize intent. But relaxation cannot go with intent. They're going to make a choice, and I'm going to make, I'm going to make relaxation be more reinforcing. So it's kind of a default thing, because we can't know it all in there. So very good question. And that was excellent with Zandy. We'll do her again in a little bit, but we'll just give her a little break. Why I want a little break is something we call late learning. Um, they, they and us, we can only take like 10 to 15 minutes of new information. That's just all we can really process. After that, it becomes just drilling. So we gave her a little bit of new information, a new skill, a new little exercise for her to do. And so she had, and there was a lot of information in that little exercise. So we gave her that little exercise. Then it takes 12 to 24 hours for a new, a new thought to form a permanent pathway. So right now, it's still a new thought joggling around in our head, but in the more time that goes in between now and then, the stronger it'll get. So if, if we don't have to wait a full 12 to 24 hours, but we give her a little time and let her rest on it, it will get sharper and be better later. So we just give her a little break and let her process her new information. Your zebra's with me. <laughs> and process her new information. And so that's why I like to do the little short sessions, give them a break, let them process. Little short sessions, give them a break, let them process. What we're about to do with JoJo is we're going to go into a place that's going to be a little bit more worrisome for her and a little bit more immersive. So now when we give her a break, not only is it new, not only, not, 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 <laughs> not only, and that is really good for those
those of you who remember the first day when she would twitch her tail every time I touched her side? And then yesterday she got to the point where she wasn't twitching her tail when I touched her side. While well, everything looked calm, that twitching tail, every time I touched her, told me, you're not relaxed, you're not comfortable with me, you're not relaxed. And so now she is quite good about not doing it. I mean, they can flip their tails for other things, you know, like flies. But it was, it was just black and white. I